What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the 13 colonies. So to run off our last time, we took Munich and immediately had to give it back up. Um, the French have declared on us, so that's quite a big chunk of Europe is now allied against us. Um, and we also pushed the Venice garrison out to hit, hit Croatia to put some pressure on the Austrians from another, another vector. And Amadeus Crisp has also moved out. He's going to go try and have his try his luck with Paris because Paris is unfortified. Oh yes, Roy Whitefield earned some spurs. Study under fire. Croatia was captured. And our first actual naval ship, serious naval ship, the second rich ship of the line, Alert, has been built. So. Let's hit enter. And yep, our South American force is moving on to Bogota. New Mexico. Oh, oh god. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Could have really have done with a fort ready for them by now. Okay. Sound River. Battles. Army could potentially. My army is have fired two on which isn't the end of the world. Um, but we, yeah, just because we don't have that many armies, we don't have them set up in Europe. Look, Turin's not fortified. Genoa will be, but Milan isn't. Oh, the Russians! <gasps> Interesting. I think the Russians got it as well. Judging by the map. It's nice to see Russia doing something. Actually doing something. They should feel pretty happy. They've got a strong Poland to their western side. They've taken Scandinavia and they're making good moves against the Ottomans. They should start to look at their colonial holdings. Yeah, they got Istanbul. <laughs> the it's the Turks' greatest fear. Colin being Colin, they would never get away with that. If they were the, if they were a human player, they would just get horrendously declared on, and then they would never ever be able to expand out of the little pocket. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Forward! Let's move the grenadiers up. Let's move. Slowly move troops over to Venice. Because that Waiting looks like where... Own. Well, these guys are going to want to raid, and that's fine. We're not making 20 grand we're making. That's not much at all. Your Majesty. You run here Waiting quickly. For Waiting for your orders. Forward! March! I'm Sorry, sure sir. it was here you could build one. You ask too much. I cannot do that. Not about a fort. Sir. Sorry, Amadeus. Pull back. Make ready. Mark. Because that is quite a lot of stuff. So I think the order of the day is to increase our economy fund the war that's about to happen. So, let's get a port in Georgia, let's get them expanding more crops, upgrade the weavers, upgrade some farmland, upgrade the iron workshops is a good shout. Clown workshops are pretty valuable, they make a lot of cash. The French are coming. They're probably going to come up and attack through the pass. So that's why I wanted Amadeus Crisp inside. But no matter. To be honest, can Ready, I get you here? Waiting for, awaiting further orders. You couldn't build a fort though. Men, forward. Can I tax you now? Nope. What about you, Turin? No, you're very unhappy. Your Majesty. By the left. Do that. 
I still don't have faith. I can move my general to Genoa. Your Majesty. Works and striking the voice. So they're going to raid. They're going to rebel next turn. You're pretty solid. You're just going to sit there and not fix the governor's palace. Because they're really happy because you've got a giant enemy army sat on their doorstep. Okay, so we've got carcass shot. So let's get you to flying shuttle to get some more cash. Let's get you to start hammering down. Actually, no, you need to... Hartford did better at this. Yes, Hartford's better for the physiological techs and you go for flying shuttle oh, maintain siege they hide behind women's if they do prefer to raid their way across the villages that's Sail preferable because now it's heating up I think I need to push reinforcements Amadeus Crisp is Crisp's way. The north is secure, the east is secure, the west with those two giant French armies, they're the concern. So you need to send troops that way. And it's nice actually, the Russians taking um, Istanbul seem to have actually um, solved the problem of Turkey taking forever. Although they now have lots of troops to manoeuvre in their territory. So in terms of a pure time saving, it might not be that much. Like the Spanish might attack me from the rear in North in South America, but that's okay. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have You won't be that unhappy in a minute. Forward! Yes? Forward. Your orders, Your Majesty? Your humble servant. Men! I have to go to Milan. March! Anything more? Let's bring the cavalry of Ginger Noah. Ready country. and waiting for. We are suffering from cash lack of cash. So the only thing to do, I think, is to take Riley Whitfield, put pressure on the Austrians. Well, we've got to put pressure on someone. Raise the for crown and country. We've got to put some pressure on somebody. Everything seems to be okay. I'm fine to let them raid. Well, actually, I probably want to scoot. These guys over to Zagreb. Stop them from taking it so easily. We do not have much cash. But I think their lack of artillery will be their undoing if they do go after us. Because they're more than happy to properly bulk up my defence. So they can't go straight for Milan, annoyingly, because it's their, my fortified territory. So I have to fortify Genoa, orders. bring the fleet Any along. Orders? Naples, there's roads in Naples. Let's turn, let's tax tier in now. It's only worth 400. Our trade is severely disrupted. Let's try peace and trade with the Mughals. Don't want me to get in Corsica. What if I give you 1,000 lovely gold? Nope. Don't 
Don't give you cost cap. Prussia. Peace. Nope. Not giving you any territories. Let's try peace out with Spain. Good. You know, peace with Spain isn't ideal, but at least allows us to focus on here rather than a sudden Spanish army coming out of nowhere. New port in Providence. Let's get you trade port for all that sweet, sweet money. Cuba also has a port. But there's not much I can do with it. You have no artillery. We have loads of cavalry. In which case, I think I might end up doing something. Well, no, I, do, I, I dare not switch. Let's get two pairs of 20 foot 12 pounders to move up to Genoa. Let's see what the AI does. Okay, they are moving south with them. Enemy okay. Fleet ahead! Aha! No mortars. Little artillery. Let's do it. Let's use this as an opportunity to knock out Vienna. Because, like I said, I need to put pressure on someone. Otherwise, I'm just going to get compressed into a bottleneck, into a closed space, and I'm going to have no freedom of maneuver. At least this way it opens up one of the jaws. Maybe if I take Vienna, I could try to see for peace with Austria. Kidoki. So they're going to come in from multiple directions. So let's not go too crazy with the deployment. Yeah, my army's actually depleted, which isn't good either. Dave, <laughs> can you stop, please? <laughs> Appreciate it, Dave. But sometimes I want to focus on what I'm doing. Um, let's see, got our armies ready. Sweet. House is behind. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be a bit dicey. I'm stretching my flanks out, just give me a bit of breathing space. Those are reserves. Yep, so Enforcements coming in from directly up the top of the hill. So let's pivot this flank. Got them behind us as well. the general. Keep 
breaking down squares. The Crinidad Guard are done for. Good stuff, our superior firing drills. We're gonna make all the difference. Especially as that's the cavalry dealt with.
the Grenadier Guards, so they will actually just take pot shots. And I'm going to put this infantry into the mix, even though it's not a brilliant use of its firepower, because they just need as much as they can get. Do you have firing drills? I mean, why have you both broken? I mean, you've still got loads of good troops left. Loads of good, good um, stats. I'll tell you, my foot is in a terrible firing position. Stupid. stuff. Yes, you've charged into me at close range. Things have gone spectacularly badly wrong for you. These more reinforcements coming in? Yeah, they are.
unable to chase them down, but I will take them running away. This back of the is coming in. God, for a minute that was really on the balance. Damn right, my heart is tearing you a new one. They're coming back. Helpfully stopped retreating. Good stuff. The last wave in the squares with a bit of Damn right you fall back. It's going out here to focus on the horse from the other guard, because they are the, the real risk now. them in, in the fight, it will force my infantry to go to like anti-cavalry firing drills. These guys are probably routes, but they need to move out to provide some sort of fire on their guards. Shying into the Grenadier Guards, how else are shots coming in? I can hit no canister now. Blaster with canister shot. Change my heart's targets to the strong linear line infantry. These guys will probably rent. Getting chipped apart. Right. I don't want to advance on them, more than happy just to bombard them with artillery at this point. One that's just out of range, may as well transition to round shot and just blast them with solid cannonballs. Just make sure the Grenadier Guards die. That's what I'm most concerned about. Okay, let's speed up time properly as well, because I think this is going to be, this is going to be it. Someone's, yeah, I don't want to take any risks because my, my battle line is like right on the edge. Let's both of them shot. 
Just keep bounding cannonballs into them. Good, and they're shattered. So let's limber up my guns. Deploy them here. Here. So they face my men. So they face the enemy more directly. And just fire it well. Just pound them with artillery. I have no problems with this. Mainly because I'm just happy to have my infantry survive. Because they're immediately going to pull back. Because this has gone spectacularly badly wrong. It's a win. It's a very much a Pyrrhic win. It's a loss, but we have more of our troops in position. That's where we are at the minute. Come on, lads. Just kill them once and for all. So they could advance into, into musket range, but I really don't want to. Well, you can see just how terrible my gunners are. So they might all have to focus on... All focus on one. In order to get them to actually rout. How to shots are dropping them in run on target. My foot artillery can't hit anything. Which of them, my foot artillery is hitting him, is landing right in the middle. No, oh, no, I'll kill the guys in the centre too. You should be more than concerned you're under artillery attack. Especially considering there is so few of you, you should reorganise your squire. Really. I don't even have skirmishes to send in to skirmish them a distance. Still, it was nice of them to put down spikes. The last thing I would do is charge them with cavalry because I don't have any. What was it flashing between an idol and something? I don't know. Now they're shaken. Now they're wavering. Yeah, I don't want to threaten. I don't want to risk any more of my troops. That's my main concern now. Plus it gives my houses a chance to get some... some experience. I, mean, I could try... Carcass shot. Create some cool fires, but it's not really doing a great deal of damage, per se. Hooray! <sighs> Damn right it was a close victory. And that's not Croatia either. I mean, yeah, they lost more men than we did, but they had more men to start off with. giving you Lombardy. Not happening. May end up condensing lots of that army together in order to... That was a... That was... Yeah. Back. Merge them, fall them back. And then let's, let's see... So my economy has been struggling because we've lost trade with the Ottomans and with someone else. So we need to get our tax base growing. Right now our tax base is about 30,000 a turn and tax trade is about 17. The reduced trade is about 17. Um, so things are... things are okay. Things are things are okay in terms of money. So we're still positive and that's a good thing. 
Um, but we do have the French advancing on us. So we need some clean wins against them. Um, oh, and they are selling out. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I will see you next time for the, the Sally of Bogota. Cheers, guys. <laughs>